Hi everyone, this is the uh, Math 30-1 Functions Review. This is multiple choice number two. Which polynomial function has zeros, negative three, one, and two, and a y-intercept of negative six? Okay, first of all, let's take a quick look at these, uh, these zeros here. Remember the way this works here. If x minus three is a zero, then that means my factor has to be x plus three. If one is a zero, x minus one is a factor, and if two is a zero, x minus two is a factor. Okay, so now what I gotta do is I just gotta compare this thing here. Uh, it, can't be, it can't be B right away, because I, I should have an X plus three, that was an X minus three. X minus one, X minus, okay. So that, that didn't actually get rid of a lot of options there, <laughs> okay. Uh, so what's gotta happen here is it's gotta be this negative six as a, as a Y intercept that's gonna get rid of the, the other options here. So what I know here is that if I plug a zero in for X, I should be getting a negative six as a result here. Now, plugging in a zero, that's gonna be three. This will be negative one, but it's squared, so this will be positive one. And I plug a zero and I get negative two, so three times, well, here's, here's my, my negative six. Now, I just wanna make sure that that's, that's actually the correct answer. I wanna say A right now. Let's keep going here. If I plug three in, sorry, zero in, I'll get three times negative one times negative two. Well, that's gonna be positive six. Okay, well, that's not correct. Uh, and if you plug this in here, uh, zero into this, you'll get three, negative one, so negative three. But this ends up becoming positive four. Because plug zero in, zero minus two is negative two, but square gets you positive four. And that's gonna actually end up getting us a negative 12 as a result. So A was correct. 